Process of motion in furtherance of the prosecution of your petition so that we will allocate it in house business committee to have time to be debated and if you feel dissatisfied you will be advised to do what is necessary within the standing orders and the law you also are at liberty besides the petition process to avail material available to you of fraudulent acts committed by the people you are alleged to have committed to the administration of justice systems of the country, DCI, ESEC, who can take up the matter notwithstanding the fact that there's a petition here. By God's of motion. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We have a notice of motion, and uh, I would request for your indulgence before I go ahead with it, Mr. Speaker, to thank you and uh, out of your wisdom in the manner in which uh, you corrected, or le le let me say, let me put it this way, in the, in the, father, in the fatherly way, you reprimanded my committee yesterday. We took it positively. We are going to improve on the issues, Mr. Speaker. Uh, and uh, I actually, I got satisfied that you are fit to hold that seat because if, if it was by a rogue person, Mr. Speaker, we would, be in, uh, we would have been thrown under the bus, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Secondly, I would also want to appreciate my elder brothers, the Honorable Opio and I and uh, Honorable Ishungwa for, the, for being lenient to my committee and myself with, uh, with, with the young political career I have. Mr. Speaker, it would have been very dangerous for me moving ahead. So thank you so much, Mr. Speaker. And with that, Mr. Speaker, uh, I would not want to give excuses before the House. I would want to respond through output through action, processing petitions within time and giving reports within time. Mr. Speaker, in uh, relation to absence, this is my seat from today. Anytime you enter the room and uh, you don't find me seated here, Mr. Speaker, just know either I'm out of the country or I'm admitted in an hospital somewhere. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for that. Now, Mr. Speaker... Uh, Honorable Nguna adds a third uh, reason for you not being there. <laughs> that you'll probably be boxing somebody. <laughs> <laughs> go, go ahead. I believe it's with a light touch. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and give your notice of motion. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Mr. Speaker... Uh, um, I, I would want, I beg to give a notice of the following motion, that this House adopts the report of the Public Petitions, Petition Committee on its consideration of a public petition number 7 of 2022 regarding probable laws of investments in certain high yield solutions platform laid on the table of the House on Thursday 14th May 2023. Mr. Speaker, I, I, I beg to give. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Mbai. Well done. Next order. Order number seven, questions and statements. We honorable members will start with the statements. Honorable Mukunji, John of Manyata. It's important to acknowledge that uh, the first person to request to make a statement on what you're about to make was the Honorable Mother Wangari of uh, Gilgil. She's not here. And uh, you may proceed to make your statement, which is uh, identical to what she wanted. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Uh, I plan to lay a general statement on the biometric data collection by World Coin. I'm told the mic is not working. Okay. Yeah, move to the next. 
Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Uh, Honorable Speaker, pursuant to Standing Order 43, uh, Section 1, I wish to make a statement on the ongoing, on, ongoing biometric data collection by WorldCoin. Honorable Speaker, WorldCoin, a blockchain company, recently launched their IRAs for tokens in Kenya, offering free cryptocurrency tokens on participants upon registration and scanning of their irises in various locations in Nairobi, including the Kenya International Conference Center, KICC. Honorable Speaker, whereas the Office of the Data Protection Commissioner issued a cautionary statement to Kenyans regarding the ongoing biometric data collection by this company, the registration process has peaked, causing concern on the purpose of the data collection. There are fears that the data may be used for purposes 